everyone, Reback Tech here, and today we're going to be doing a speed test comparison between the iPhone 5 running iOS 6 and the iPhone 5S running iOS 7.1.1. So, let's begin. The devices are on their initial firmware, um, they're on one of the last versions of their initial firmware, so this is on the second to last version of iOS 7, so it's on 7.1.1. This one is on the last version of iOS 6, this device can run, so it's 6.1.4. So, as you can see, they are two different phones as you can see this is an iphone 5 and this is an iphone 5s because touch id and then you can see the color differences and then the flashlight's a bit different um i'm doing this so people don't say oh it's fake this isn't real so what we're going to be doing first is a startup test all right so here we have a timer Alrighty. so what we're going to do is boot this up in three two one all right so scratch about three seconds off of that Alrighty, so as you can see, iOS 6 did boot up slightly faster than iOS 7, just by a hair of a second. So it took about 20 seconds to uh, start up both of them, basically, so we can just get that out of the way. So as you can see, if we just look here, we are on their uh, original home screens. Uh, there's no additional apps that should be there, like anything from the App Store. It is completely restarted and stock. So if we go into settings, all right, so if we go into settings, general, and about, as you can see, this one is running iOS 6.1.4, and this one's running iOS 7.1.1, and there's the model number, and there's the model number for this device here. All righty, so let's disable airplane mode, and let's start off with some tests. So as I always start off these tests, let's hold down the power button until the slide to power off screen shows up. Now let's hold the home button so we can refresh the RAM so it is completely uh, clean, so there's nothing running in the background if there was. Alrighty, so now let's start off with the test of the Messages app in 3, 2, 1. So iOS 6 did load that one a few seconds faster. Now let's do Calendar in 3, 2, 1. iOS 6 did load that one faster also. Let's open up Camera in 3, 2, 1. Alrighty, so iOS 7 did load that one just a split second faster. Now let's open up the Music app in 3, 2, 1. So iOS 6 did load that one faster also. Mute, or the phone app in 3, 2, 1. Uh, iOS 6 also loaded that one faster. It's kind of surprising to be honest. Now let's open up something more intensive like the App Store in 3, 2, 1. iOS 7 loaded that one way faster. Wow. Okay, so iOS 7 loaded that one immediately. Now let's do something... Uh, with the Safari browser, so let's go into Safari. All right, so let's load up the Apple web page in three, two, one. So iOS six apparently loaded that one a quick, so split second faster. Wow. Alrighty, so there we go with that. Now let's open up settings in three, two, one. So those ones were identical for some reason. Okay. Um. So there we go. So like I always do, I always load up every stock application fully load it and then close it so I'm going to do that with both devices every single stock application on each device so I'm going to use this as a stopwatch and we will test that out with the iOS 6 iPhone 5 first so let's start that off so it took iOS 6 an entire minute and three seconds to open fully load and then close every single stock application so that's pretty fast, I must say. Uh, getting to like the necessities like the phone app, the messages app, were immediately, um, which is to be expected on a older firmware like this. Uh, iOS 6 was uh, rounded as, you know, an update for speed. You know, the schemorphism uh, updates like iOS, pre-iOS 7, they were really focused on speed because there was really no animations. So, um, now let's actually start off with the iOS 7 5S. So, I'm going to reset this timer and we're going to start over again. Okay, so it took iOS 7 a minute and three seconds also. So uh, there is, I think, more apps on this. No, they're identical with apps, I think. Um, so they're both equal in speed, I guess, uh, with opening and closing each app. Um, I did notice more web-based apps such as Maps, iTunes Store, App Store, and Safari was loading a lot faster. Now, with iOS 6, the Maps app wasn't really loading that much, and I didn't really want to stay there for like 10 seconds and then not load at all and then have to redo the entire test. So I don't know if that was normal or not, so I don't know if there's a problem with my iPhone 5 or not, but the iOS 7 iPhone 5S did load that immediately, and same with the App Store. The App Store is instant on iOS 7. It is kind of interesting how fast that is. 
but as you can tell they are identical in speed uh, with opening and closing every stock application so if we just look here they are basically identical I think there's just one extra app yeah compass is extra so I guess that's essentially it for the speed test part well hopefully you do enjoy the speed test and if you did please smack that like button and follow my twitter instagram links will be in the description and as always this is reback tech signing out